Hello, um, I'm Maren. I have a nine-year-old daughter with TFP deficiency. She's my second daughter. I also have an older son who is um, healthy, who has no defect. And we also have now a little child with uh, three years. She's also not affected by the TFP deficiency. Um, the TFP deficiency is a long-chain fatty acid oxidation disorder. Um, Alina was um, screened by the newborn screening um, and we got a call from the hospital at six day of life. So we had to admis administer to the hospital um, immediately to the ICU, um, uh, to, the, yeah, to the ICU, um, because um, the long chain fatty acid oxidation disorder are mainly um, cause um, acute crisis with heart failure, and also um, are associated with um, sudden infant death. But Aline um, had no symptoms in her first week of life. I uh, was breastfeeding her for the first week. And after the diagnosis um, of the l deficiency or TFP deficiency, uh, I had to change um, the breastfeeding um, and we had to add also a low fat formula rich in um, medium chain um, acids. Yeah, medium chain acids. Um, now Aline is already nine years old. We had some very hard years, especially um, the first um, up to five years because she had a metabolic crisis um, with infections um, if she refused eating or she was vomiting or she had high fever. Um, that may cause um, rhabdomyolysis. And so we had to stay in the hospital like every two months for, um, yeah, for not getting a severe crisis. But um, it's also important to know that um, long chain fatty acid disorders um, may also um, cause spontaneous rhabdomyolysis. Um, it's not already known why this happened, so um, we also have to pay attention if Alina is um, talking about muscle pain in her legs or in her arms. Um, yeah, this may be one symptom or the first symptom of a spontaneous rhabdomyolysis. Um, the most important thing in this disease is um, a low-fat diet, and um, you have to uh, supplement medium chain um, fatty acids, um, and you also have um, to feed very regularly. So um, Alina has to eat every three to four hours a day, and she also still needs a night meal. Um, yeah, and we have um, to give her carbohydrates or also um, medium chain fatty acids before sporty activities. And if she is ill, if she has fever, and we have to um, um, feed her more frequently, like every two hours, so she will not get into a crisis. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, maybe um, if you ever see a patient with a long chain FEOD disorder, she will bring a they will bring an emergency letter. So please read this emergency letter carefully. And the metabolic physicians are writing down every thing you have to do, also the, the lab you have to perform, and especially the most important thing is um, not waiting if um, one patient with this disease is coming to your emergency room. You have to start immediately with um, glucose infusion, and it's a very um, high dose of glucose that's normally, um, yeah, uncommon, but please do what's in the emergency letter set and listen to the parents. Thank you.